I am very pleased to announce the presence of a very important person amongst our mates. Uh, he is sitting right now like a normal participant to this workshop. His name is Mr. Praveen Prakash. He is the Joint Secretary in the Ministry of HRD and he is also the director of this important mission. I have been requesting him that if he finds time, if he could visit one of the remote centers and see for himself how the workshop is going on and also briefly address us. Uh, we have Dronacharya Institute, Dronacharya Group of Institute in Greater Noida and we are fortunate to have our mission director Mr. Praveen Prakash personally present there. I would request him to kindly address all the 8600 participants of this workshop. Over to you, Dronacharya Group of Institutions. Uh, Patak sir and all my friends, uh, I have joined as mission director around uh, nine months back and uh, uh, which I have in the last nine months. Uh, Professor Fatak and all of you together uh, have created a history in the in, in higher education area. Years to come, whenever the technology enabled learning and teaching in our country will be talked about, this project will always be remembered. Uh, for many reasons, number one is uh, a general feeling used to be that a technical education subject uh, interaction cannot happen remotely. This project, the methodology, the processes which Patak sir has established in this project has, has, has clearly shown that in technical education sector also uh, we can have uh, this uh, remote methodology. The second is the processes, the learning which we had over a period of last three years in this project will definitely go in a long way in, 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 in launching the other projects related to technology enabled learning and teaching. As you are aware that uh, Professor Fatak took it as a challenge when the ministry threw this challenge to him that can you do, can you train uh, to begin with 1000 teacher in one session, he took it as a challenge and said we will we'll go and do 10,000 teachers. Hmm. On the behalf of the ministry, I, I place on record our deep appreciation. Whenever we see him, uh, his energy levels at this age also uh, is, is, a, is, a, is a real source of inspiration and motivation for all of us. All of us also have to commit ourselves that uh, 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 that years to come, we will also commit ourselves to the cause of technical education, higher education in our country. I really don't know how many of you have uh, visited his office in IIT Bombay. Uh, he has, I, when I visited his office in IIT Bombay, he has a photograph of two persons on his table and I asked him, why did you keep and they are much younger to you to you and you have kept their photographs of these two gentlemen on your table. He said all the faculty members who are in engineering education today, they had also an option to go to industry. Anybody who is a faculty member in engineering education today in our country has an option to go abroad, uh, make huge money, work, work abroad, enjoy those that uh, lifestyle abroad or in, in India also uh, join a private sector. But these people, those who are faculty members in engineering education have given all that and have joined this sector for a cause. So that's a high appreciation he has for all of, all of us who are in teaching faculty.
and i think that's is is driving him uh you also must be knowing that he is launching the first uh massive open online course in 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 month of july the last week of july uh, in the history of indian higher education it's going to be the first massive open online course we wish him all the best for the massive open online courses uh as you must have also heard from him many times we from the ministry side we are committed to a to a better connectivity you must have also read in the paper that uh, there is a ambitious project of of the ministry of government of india for national optical fiber network and our vision our intention is that in year 2 uh, in 2 to 3 years every gram panchayat all the 2 lakh 50 thousand gram panchayats in our country should have dark fiber we must reach to all this uh, 2 lakh 50 thousand uh, gram panchayats for that as uh, uh, those of you who follow telecom sector from every service provider government collects 5% of their uh, net revenue we collect as a universal service obligation fund there is a fund of around 25 to 30000 crore which has been built and this fund will be used now every district in our country and some of the not all the blocks but majority of the blocks have a fiber but our vision is we want to take uh, that fiber to every college in the in in every college in every gram panchayat in our in our country which means in other words every school and every college of our country i visualize a situation in year 2016 uh, or 17 where again we will be attending professor fatak uh, uh, training program but then every faculty member of every engineering college will be attending that program from their own college because we will be having that time for every engineering college not 10 mbps connectivity not 20 20 mbps connectivity at least 400 to 500 mbps connectivity i since long since i joined uh, this post i was very keen to attend one of the one of the live uh, session and i got this opportunity uh, we are also thinking of bring because we are also planning a sessions not only in engineering education we are hopeful that uh, uh, that we, the lessons learned from this we will take it to to other training programs as you must be aware that uh, ugc through their administrative staff college is also conduct lot of training programs in service training programs for the lecturer lecturers faculty members of other than engineering education sector the uh, lessons from you so whatever that's what i will say all of you who have participated in this program not only you are the gainers but you also were the guide all each one of you were the guide for for a bigger programs which are going to follow so we are looking at a subject commerce subject we are looking at management uh, we are looking at agriculture so we have we are in process of selecting five six sectors and there also we will uh, will have the same methodology with this word again wish uh, professor fatak and his dedicated team i interacted with them when i went to iit bombay those uh, who who work day and night who are dedicated to the cause of talk to teacher project i wish uh, all of you uh, all the best the whole team all the best and many more success to talk to teacher project thank you so much mr pran prakash for those very nice words uh, we are happy to hear them but as you yourself said we have run many miles and we have many hundreds of miles to go i wish that your dream of connecting not just every engineering college but in fact every college every vocational training institution and eventually every high school at least to be connected so that these technological advances and the great learning from the important projects that mission has so far conducted could be extended to all aspects of education 
we will definitely work with you towards that. And the fact that we have achieved something, uh, the 8,600 people, some of whom are sitting with you, but all others sitting at 270 other remote centers, are live examples of the successful implementation of this great vision by MHRD. So I, let me thank MHRD for these initiatives and let me thank you for very ably and very energetically leading this mission. I think we will work together towards making many big things.